Hey guys, Daniel here, and welcome back to the Dan Fam. Today we're gonna be looking at the best FTB Minecraft mod packs of 2019. My last video was the best Minecraft mod packs of 2018. You guys really liked it, so I'm gonna be coming back with another banger. In this video, I have my five favorite Minecraft mod packs from FTB so far, all the way up until the year of 2019. Hopefully, you guys enjoy and agree. Before we do get into the video, I do want to let you guys know that if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload, which is usually every Saturday, and follow me on Twitter at DanFamGaming. Go do that and let's go straight into this amazing video. So at number 5, we have FTB Stoneblock 2. This is a follow-up to the first stone block, which I truly really liked. It was a breath of fresh air. It was like a sky block, but underground inside cobblestone. Now, what makes this a great pick is that FTB has a lot of great mod packs, but this just brings another variety pick for you to choose from. So if you are playing from the FTB launcher, this gets added on to everything you can play from the start. So you get to play underground, build up, do a lot of tech only with cobblestone starting from the beginning and I love all the little loot and rewards you get so that is why I really truly enjoy this mod pack now let's go straight into the number four pick at number four we have FTB mage quest so in my last video a lot of you guys told me that I just kept picking a lot of tech mod packs that were very redundant, very repetitive. So that's why for this pick, I went for an OG but a really fun mod pack, the Mage Quest mod pack, because it's so centered around magic. And when you look at all the mod packs available these days, there's not a lot. Now, this may not have been introduced to FTB in 2019, but I believe it still holds up. So that is why in the year of 2019, this is still my top five favorite mod pack. Now, let's go into why I like it. So a lot of times these tech mod packs could have mod packs like Botania or little simple ones that just give you a little taste of magic but don't actually truly immerse you into the world of magic here you can do rituals you can do a lot of arse magic blood magic i love the biomes available for you to research there's a lot more in-depth magic mod packs there's a lot more creatures added to this mod pack so if you and your friends decide that you want to go Find a fun mod pack that isn't too complicated, but it's very magic related and make a server out of it and play. I definitely recommend this one. So go check it out. Now let's go straight into number three. And at number three, we have FTV Sky Adventures. I am actually really excited to talk about this mod pack because personally, I don't play mod packs for fun on my own just because of YouTube. I always record it, but this mod pack truly gave me the passion to go out of my way, play it for hours on hours and not even record it. This skyblock is a breath of fresh air. It is similar, so you don't feel like it's a whole new experience, but with the introduction of the EMC system and, you know, the exchange and, you know, breaking down items. The equivalent exchange basically allows for you to have a brand new Skyblock experience. Now, it does allow you to start off with some pretty cool custom maps. I personally picked a little more agrarian type world. But if you look at this gameplay, you can see that there's a lot more futuristic options. And the great thing is... With Equivalent Exchange, Skyblock becomes so much easier, so much more fun, but also still challenging because now you'd want to challenge yourself to get into more in-depth, more hardcore mods. Um, in general, it allows for you to turn your regular cobblestone into EMC and points to turn into gold and diamond. So it causes you to want to do a lot more automation, a lot more hard work, and it basically helps you skip a lot of the grinding work so when it tells you to get eight iron ore you can just drop it into your transmission tablet or whatever it's called and 
it gives you that eight ore and voila you have your quest done in a jiffy so that was basically kind of my take on sky adventures i truly enjoy it hopefully you guys will too if you go check it out and let's go straight into the next one and at number two we have ftb infinity evolved now we can't talk about the best ftb minecraft mod packs without mentioning this mod pack it is an older one but it basically gives you all the great mods you need it's such a big mod pack you get so much by just playing this one mod pack you can do a bunch of different routes when it comes to picking what you want to do in the game but man it just gives you such a good amount of freedom to explore the world of minecraft build upon it and just go ham on your super crazy nuclear reacting glowing hydro balls as you can see in this clip it's just wild um obviously i know this is from draconic evolution it's a wild mod pack it's a wild mod that you go kill dragons just so you can harvest it and turn it to power it's wild um other than that man there's not much else to say you guys just have to go play it yourselves and see see how much you could actually do in this mod pack but overall it's a fun one if you want a nice minecraft mod pack that goes well with servers try this one it's been worked on for a while now it's been mastered there isn't any issues it is pretty runnable and honestly i'm telling the truth i have a pretty mediocre pc and if i can run it you guys most likely can too now let's go straight into the next one and at number one how could we forget sky factory 3. this mod pack is probably one of the best skyblock mod packs ever it's just so good it's so well balanced it has a great questing system it's clean it's fun it doesn't have any complex map it doesn't have anything special it's just a solid skyblock this is what you want to play when you want to play a modded skyblock man I don't know what the team did at FTB, but somehow they just perfected Skyblock. I don't think Skyblocks get much better than this. You join this, you go through the quests, and you get stuff done. Man, you need to try this if you haven't played a have if you haven't played a modded Skyblock. Um, it's just so well done. You this mod pack competes with any other mod pack really. You can have a complex mod pack, but it takes a good idea and a good execution to keep it interesting man i remember playing this for months and that's just me i can't really play games for too long until i change and play a different one but man this one really kept me hooked i know everyone on the internet who plays minecraft definitely stuck with this game forever man i remember sunday was playing this i love sunday he's a great minecraft youtuber he was playing this so much with uh craner and it was just so much fun to watch them play overall i guess it is kind of nostalgia for me even though it's not that old but you know it gives me like, some good memories about the old days and just watching people play this i mean it isn't even that old it's pretty pretty recent um and also did i mention this is the most downloaded ftb uh mod pack on the twitch launcher and the twitch launcher is basically one of the biggest uh launchers right now because it's basically just twitch's program you go you install it and you are able to watch twitch videos but also play mod packs for a different game that's crazy and all that but overall that's why i really think this is my top pick and hopefully you guys do too Finally, we are now at my favorite part of the video, the part where I get to say thank you to all of you amazing people who stuck till the end and watched all of my five picks for what I thought were the best FTP mod Minecraft mod packs. Obviously, these are subjective and you guys all probably have your own opinions, so that is why I encourage you to go in the comment section below and comment what you guys think. Do you agree? What do you guys like personally? And what other mod packs do you recommend? 
Also, I want you guys to go there, make friends, and let me know what other kind of videos I should make. Overall, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.